new tools are available for modeling in XSI. We're going to demonstrate a few of them using this uh, alien uh, object. So I, um, first, I'm going to create a curve net out of this first part of the head, first section of the head. So I'm going to choose surface curve net. And with the freeform select tool, I'm able to drag a line to select all the row of curve on one side and then the row of curve on the other side very easily. So once this is done, I'm right clicking in the viewport to open the curve net property page. Now I'm going to merge this uh, head side section with the other section using the middle curve uh, between them. I'm going to choose again create surface merge and pick the other side and then pick the middle curve. Now this opens the merge property page from which I can select the two uh, surface boundary that needs to be connected and merged together. Now I'm going to loft the back section of the, my model to this uh, series of curve in front of it. But I'm going to start lofting it from the last ISO curve on the surface and then start choose a surface loft and then start picking the uh, subsequent curve. Now I have the, uh, the skin surface uh, created. Now I can extend that surface if I choose modify surface extend to curve and pick that last curve. So I will need to set the right boundary. I'm going to open the Send to Curve property page and choose the right boundary like this. Now I'm going to create a surface fillet to blend the, the uh, intersection between the spike object and the back section object. So I'm selecting the back object, start the command, and pick the spike object. You can see that I have this uh, nice fillet now that will hide the seam between the two objects. Now I'm going to stitch this middle section with the front section of the merged uh, surface. I've selected the wrong surface. I can hit Escape and start the command again. So I'm going to choose Modify Surface Stitch, pick the right surface this time, and uh, choose the right boundary from the Stitch property page. I'm going to hide the uh, unnecessary surface, and here we have our creature model completely uh, uh, done.